I'm Richard Miner. We are at the Carpalus Manuscript Library Museum. There are over a million manuscripts in the Carpalus collection. It's the world's largest private collection of historical manuscripts. They cover every topic of world history. So you have such things as the Emancipation Proclamation signed by Abraham Lincoln, the uh, the Bill of Rights submitted by the state of Virginia, Martin Luther's letter recognizing the Protestant movement dated 1532, a large archive on the Spanish Armada, letters from the pen. It was an exhibit uh, created around the theme of famous personages throughout history who had been incarcerated. So you had everybody from Mary, Queen of Scots through uh, Charles Manson. I think the, the peel of the buildings was just the neoclassical design. It just looked like the kind of building that would house historical manuscripts. I mean, we're in a day and age where original historical manuscripts are really appealing to a small niche of our society. It's one of the reasons that we host uh, other types of events and the art gallery exhibits to bring people in and then when they actually see the manuscripts they realize how wonderful they are and how special it is that they have an opportunity to actually see uh, say an archive on the Spanish Armada or the original writings of people like Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin. We're dedicated to the preservation and exhibition of the original writings of great authors, composers, scientists, philosophers, statesmen, sovereigns, and world leaders from all periods of world history. Historical manuscripts are obviously important primary sources for research and history. To the normal everyday person, that they kind of give people the ideas that these were real people behind these historical events. When they see original letters, they realize that these famous personages throughout history have actually handled that paper. They wrote on it, they spilled their coffee on these pages. They, they lived real lives just like we did. It really makes history come alive.